Alexi Lafreniere was drafted first overall in the 2020, I don't know, that sounds weird, it should be 2020. Anyway, entry draft to the New York Rangers. I did perform a simulation on Lafreniere in NHL 20, but now we know where he's going to end up. As I just said, he's drafted by the Rangers. So that's why I'm doing it again here. Plus, I held a vote and you guys chose him, so. Here we are. Also, shout out to KP8. He is responsible for the jersey swap you see in the thumbnail and you will see on the stats later on. So a link to his Twitter will be in the description below. Go check it out. Lots of great graphics and jersey swaps coming from him. So without further ado, let's hop into a simulation on NHL 21 and let's see what happens or what EA thinks will happen, I should say, in Alexi Lafreniere's NHL career. So no real surprises here, Lafreniere is in the lineup for the New York Rangers in year 1, 82 overall, he's going to be on the second line, D'Angelo and Truba as the top defensive pair, and then as the starting goaltender, they've got Igor Shosturkin, Georgiev as the backup, and of course he's still on his entry level deal, in fact it's the first year for it, because it's the first year in the NHL, so yeah, team finishes 5th in the Metro with 84 points. And we get 42 points out of Lafreniere, who played 71 games this season, 16 goals, 26 assists. Connor McDavid is the league leader, or the Art Ross winner this year, putting up 107 points. And we've got the Colorado Avalanche, are your Stanley Cup champions for year one. Kaprizov's going to steal the Calder away from Lafreniere, as you saw there. And Zetterberg would put up 960 points in his career, retiring. I, I guess I thought he retired, but I don't know. And starting year number two, Panera 92 overall, holy crap, Lafreniere 85 will be on the second line, D'Angelo and Truba still the top pairing defensively, and Shesterkin still the starter at 88 overall, the team would put up 86 points, finishing 5th once again in the Metro here, Lafreniere would put up 73 individually, playing the full 82 games this time, and having a minus 1, McDavid going to start off the simulation with back-to-back -back Art Rosses, 126 points this time, and the Nashville Predators taking home the Stanley Cup for year number two. McDavid pretty much just cleaning house at the end there. Marion Hossa is the top retiring player for year two with 1,134 points. Let us hop into year three. Lafreniere up to overall to 87, still on the second line. And we've got D'Angelo Truba, still the top defensive pair. And Shesterkin, still the starting goaltender. 87 overall this time around. The team would put up 88 points this year, finishing fourth in the Metro, and they would make the playoffs. Lafreniere putting up 71 points again, playing the full 82 games and having a plus nine this time around. McDavid finally not winning the Art Ross. This time it would go to Patrick Kane, putting up 106 points. And the Stanley Cup would go to the Buffalo Sabres. No trophies for Lafreniere this time around. And the team would be eliminated in the first round by the eventual Stanley Cup winning Buffalo Sabres there. As you saw, five games is all it took. Alexander Ovechkin, top retiring player this year. Coming off of his entry-level contract, Lafreniere will be 89 overall, and he will be up on the first line. Fox and Truba as the top defensive pair this time, and Igor Shesterkin up to 90 overall now. A brand new shiny four-year $11 million contract was signed, and the Rangers finishing second in the Metro with 99 points. Lafreniere putting up 62 points in 76 games and having a plus 20 rating. Brad Marchand is the Art Ross winner with 100 points this season. And the Tampa Bay Lightning, team that just won the cup in real life, have now won it virtually. So there it is. And they also beat out the Rangers. So I guess the Rangers really have a thing for losing to the eventual Stanley Cup champions in this simulation so far. Anyway, Jumbo Joe, top retiring player for year number four. Lafreniere would break 90 overall for the first time here, and he would also be demoted back to the second line. So that's unfortunate. Fox and Truba, still the top defensive pair. Two years in a row now. Shesterkin, 90 overall, still going to be the starter. The team will finish sixth in the entire league with 102 points and 49 wins this season. Laugh would only play 78 games, and he'd put up 73 points, having a plus three rating. Matt Barzell is going to be the Art Ross winner this time around, putting up 104 points this season. And the Winnipeg Jets are going to be the Stanley Cup champions here for year number five. And we've got Malkin as the top retiring player this year with 1,494 points, so close to 1,500. 
Let's hop into year six, where Lafreniere is now 91 overall. He's on a 79 overall centerman, but he's got Capo Caco, who's also 91 overall on the right side. Fox and Truba still there, and so is Igor. So that has not changed. The Rangers finishing fourth in the Metro with 88 points, 38 wins this season. The Flyers just got the better of them there. Lafreniere would play 74 games and put up 75 points with a plus seven, so point a game. Love to see that. Jack Eichel is the Art Ross winner with 107 points, and the Stanley Cup is headed to Winnipeg. The Jets are your Stanley Cup champions this year. Sidney Crosby is the top retiring player this time around with 1,666 points. The line would remain here for year number seven. Kako now down to 89 overall. I also see they got Landis Cog. They got a really good second line just overall. Anyway, Fox and Truba and Igor. Yeah, still there. New York Rangers finishing sixth in the Metro this season with 93 points and 44 wins. 74 points out of Lafreniere in 82 games playing the full season. And we've got a tie between Pasta and Point. So they are going to be splitting the Art Ross this year. And the Toronto Maple Leafs will be the sole team taking home the Stanley Cup. Because usually that's how it works. Anyway, Nick Backstrom going to be the top retiring player this season. Year number eight is upon us. And Dominic's up to 85 overall now. He got quite a bump. Kako is still at 89 and Lafreniere 91. Dermot and Truba is the top pair, and no more Igor. They don't have a goalie above 80, which is unfortunate. Lafreniere would sign a one-year deal worth the same amount. I was kind of tripped out at first, didn't really think it was. I thought it was just this last year, but no, it's different. Team finishes fifth in the Metro this season, and Lafreniere would be just shy of point a game. 77 points in 79 games. Nate Mack is the sole Art Ross winner this year with 106 points, and the Tampa Bay Lightning are winning their second Stanley Cup here in this simulation. Top retiring player this season is Patrick Kane. He had 1,643 points in his NHL career. The final season before the double digits, and we got a new centerman there. Schmaltz will be the new center for Capo Caco and Alexi Lafreniere. And what is this? They don't have a goalie at all. Anyway, big extension, seven years, 10 million for Lafreniere, and somehow they make the playoffs with no goalie, so that's sick. 95 points, and good enough for fourth in the Metro, apparently. 43 wins. Lafreniere would play 82 games, so the full season, and put up 90 points with a plus 27 rating. And Patrick Laine is going to win in Art Ross with 104 points for the Jets this season. The Vancouver Canucks, uh, Stanley Cup champions, of course. Of course, Shesterkin lights it up with the Colorado Avalanche. Isn't that just the way? Anyway, Rangers swept by the Islanders there in round number two. And Steven Stamkos is the top retiring player this season with 1,444 points. Double digit time. Lafreniere, 93 overall. What an absolute beautician. Strom and Kako going to be his line mates this season. Dermot and Pitt as the top defensive pair. And Samsonov, they got a goalie this time. 87 overall. Good for them. They finished sixth in the entire league with 96 points and 45 wins on the year. Lafreniere would play the full 82 games again here, putting up 76 points this time and having a plus six rating. Trevor Wong is going to lead the league. Just one upping. Well, I guess there's a close race there. But anyway, he put up 85 assists and 111 points. So an insane year out of him. The Colorado Avalanche are your Stanley Cup champions here. And we've got a Rangers team being eliminated by the Islanders in round two again. This time they put up a fight, though, went to seven games. And John Tavares is the top retiring player this season with 1,497 points. The first line of Lafreniere, Strom, and Kako would remain here for year 11. And we've got Dermot and Pitt still as the top defensive pair this season. And we still got Samsonov, 88 overall. So that's good stuff. The team finishes seventh in the entire league this time. 102 points and 47 wins this season. 83 points in 82 games from Lafreniere. So point a game again. It's good stuff. Matthews going to be the Art Ross winner. Those 68 goals. Holy crap, I didn't notice that. Anyway. He put up 113 points, and the Pittsburgh Penguins are going to be your Stanley Cup champions. Samsonov won a trophy there for the Rangers, so, yep, definitely a fan of that. The Rangers swept again, though, by the Pittsburgh Penguins, the eventual Stanley Cup winning Pittsburgh Penguins, might I add. Mark Shifley, top retiring player of this season. 
Ooh, let's get into year number 12, where Dominic Cahoon is going to be the new centerman for Lafreniere and Kako. Samsonov still going to be the starting goaltender, 88 overall. Rangers finishing third in the Metro. Playoff team again here. 78 games out of Lafreniere and 86 points with a plus nine. And that's still only good enough for third on the team. Porter put it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I just see 89 goals? That is just it. I need, I almost need to go back. But anyway, the. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I just can't even recover from that. The Tampa Bay Lightning are your Stanley Cup champions. Rangers would be eliminated by the Islanders again. Five games this time. You know, they're just testing the waters. They're trying every amount of game. Anyway, you saw the retiring. I just can't believe that. Just wanted to take this opportunity to confirm that it was, in fact, 89 goals. Lafreniere, Strom, and Kako, the first line for the Rangers. And they've got an 80 overall goalie, which I guess is decent. The team finishes third in the Metro with 99 points and 46 wins. A 90-point season out of Lafreniere in 82 games. Got it. Quite the team here offensively all of a sudden. Olsen going to lead the league with 74. Okay, something needs to be done about this. Anyway, the Edmonton Oilers are the Stanley Cup champions here for year number 13. And we've got a Rangers team being eliminated in round one. They can't make it far in the playoffs. Anyway, seven games, Flyers, yeah, they're done. Kucherov is the top retiring player this season with 1,569 points. Year 14 is now upon us. Sam Steele going to be the centerman now. So they pretty much just cycle through centers here. Blair and Davry going to be the top defensive pair. And they still got Hamelainen. I probably butchered that anyway. Still the starting goaltender. Team finishes sixth in the entire league with 50 wins and 106 points. A 92-point season out of Lafreniere in 82 games. Still only third on the team. And Trevor Wong dominating again. 84 apples, 117 points. That's crazy. Tampa Bay Lightning going to win themselves another Stanley Cup here. So it has been quite the simulation for them. And we've got there's a sweep, by the way. Stanley Cup final sweep. I don't know if you guys know, but I love those. Rangers would actually make it to the conference finals where they would lose to the Stanley Cup winning Tampa Bay Lightning. And they'd get swept by them. So yeah, that's crazy. Matthews, top retiring player this season. It is time to enter year number 15, where Lafreniere, Sam Steele, and Capo Caco are the first line. I don't know, does that sound like a movie trailer? Anyway, we got uh, Blair and Hellman in, I think that's what it was, as the top defensive pair, and the long-lost brother of John Tavares there going to be the goaltender. Team finishes sixth in the Metro with 82 points. 106 points out of Lafreniere in 77 games. Imagine if he played the other five. Holy crap. Blatter going to be, well, I guess it's not AR. Blatter is the top player this year. So that's a thing. And the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim are the Stanley Cup champions. Big trophy win for Lafreniere, taking home the Lady Bing this season. Love to see it. McDavid is the top retiring player this time around with 1,807. I don't know why I'm highlighting the assist there, but it's bothering me. Year 16, Lafreniere, Wang, and Kako as the first line. They really are just cycling through centers there. Jakimov's Infinity, the top defense. So I'm kind of just reading these names as they come up, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Nelson, starting goaltender, and a new three-year, $13 million contract for Laf will be signed, and the team makes the playoffs. They finished fourth in the Metro with 90 points and 41 wins on the season. Lafreniere would put up 77 points in 82 games. Not point a game, but still a good season. And Aiden Sotheby... Would absolutely destroy everyone else. He put up 82 apples and 128 points. Crazy stuff. Smashville Predators are the Stanley Cup champions this time around. A big trophy win there for Bowie. Atta boy, proud of you. Not a sweep in the finals. That's good stuff. And the Rangers take it to seven games there against the Flyers in the conference semifinals. They would be deleted though. And Kyle Connor is the top retiring player for this season. I think we should hop into year 17. Just my opinion. And another center here. They're still cycling through. They got Sillinger now. Chekhomovs and Kokonen as the top defensive pair. And two decent goalies here for the team. 82 and 80 overall. Team would actually win a President's Trophy with 108 points and 51 wins this season. 73 points out of Laugh in 82 games. Kako would lead the team with 74. Brad Lambert is going to lead the league with 116 points. 93 helpers too. That is crazy he is santa claus up in here and we've got a stanley cup headed to tim stutzla and the ottawa senators i don't know why it's moving so slow on these trophies this time but a sweep in the finals there you go there's another one 
great. And the New York Rangers eliminated seven games round one to the Boston Bruins. Hattrick Line is the top retiring player this season with 1,660 points. Year number 18, we've got a 86 overall Lafreniere on the second line. So he's, you know, A just winning this battle a little bit here. Jekimov's Infinity, top pair. Bryant, man, still going to be the goaltender. You're probably wondering, hey, why are we looking at Calgary? Well, apparently he got traded. So I don't know when that happened, but they finished seventh in the league. And he'd play 80 games this year with 66 points, which is good enough for third on Calgary. Blatter making a return again for the Art Ross here. So that's his second one for this simulation. And the San Jose Sharks are going to win a Stanley Cup. The Calgary Flames would be eliminated, <laughs> swept actually, by the eventual Stanley Cup winning San Jose Sharks. So if, if you beat whatever team Lafreniere's on, I think it's pretty much safe to say you're guaranteed a cup that year. Sveshnikov is the top retiring player for year 18. Let us hop into year 19, where Lafreniere is back on the first line, but not for the Rangers. He's going to be on the first line for the Vancouver Canucks. They got two good goalies there, which is nice to see. A one-year $7.77 million contract. The team finishes sixth in the Pacific Division. We got 53 points and a minus 21 out of Lafreniere this season. Blatter, 121 points, winning himself another Art Ross and the Philadelphia Flyers are the Stanley Cup champions this time around. And we actually would have a retiring Lafreniere this year. Barzell would be the top retiring player, however, with 1,753 points. But Lafreniere played 1,511 games, put up 472 goals, 967 assists, for a total of 1,439 points. Here is his playoff runs. He really clearly never made it too far, but he... Performed for sure 116 games and 123 points, so he did his job. All right, time to wrap this one up here. Lafreniere signed 19 years worth of contracts at a total of $44.57 million. He did win two trophies throughout his career, the Presidents with the New York Rangers kind of near the end there, and also the Lady Bing with the Rangers as well. And he only played for three teams, again, majority with the Rangers. He got traded to Calgary in year 18, and year 19, he signed with the Vancouver Canucks. Now we'll move on to the all-time list, where at 35, we've got Steven Stamkos. He played 1,495 games and put up 1,444 points. At number 37, we got Brian Trottier, who played 1,279 games and put up 1,425 points. And at number 36, we got our boy here, Alexi Lafreniere, who played 1,511 games and put up 1,439 points. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Be on the lookout for a poll, which I mean, I probably already did it actually, so potentially never mind. But, you know, always be on the lookout for polls anyway for who we should simulate next. And I guess there's other polls as well, I think. Be sure to drop a like. That'd be sick. And if you could sub, that would be tremendously appreciated. Just throwing that out there. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.